Hi guys, I'm Dylan. I'm the high school lounge and games room coordinator here at the San Pedro Boys and Girls Club of the LA Harbor. And today I'm going to be taking you through some ab exercises. We've done some other exercises this week with lower body and upper body, and now we're just going to focus on our abs. I know everyone is trying to get nice and toned and fit for the summertime. It's swimsuit season and all that, so we got to look good. Um, so I'm going to take you through some kind of a circuit, and hopefully we'll be able to do it a few times through, and then we'll get you on your way to your summer body. All right? Um, first, we'll do a little, just a little bit of a warm-up, kind of like we did uh, a couple times ago. We're just going to start with a running in place warm-up just to get the blood flowing, get off the couch, kind of get moving. If you want to dance, you can. I can't dance, so I'm not going to dance. I'm just going to run just for about 30 seconds or so just to get moving, get your knees up, get your toes up. You can do this barefoot. You don't even need to get out of your pajamas if you don't want to. I know I wouldn't. Um, but yeah, the idea is just to get your blood flowing since we're doing a lot of sitting these days. So, give it another 10 seconds. Actually turn up the music a little. We have one of our club kids here made some really cool tracks, and so we've got that behind us today. Named Angel. Hope he's watching and listening and hears his music. All right, and time. Okay, so the exercise is up here on the board. We're gonna start called the ab blaster. I'm sure there will be other names for it later, but today it's called the ab blaster. We're going to do one minute front plank, 30 second plank push-ups, 30 second shoulder taps, 30 second side planks on each side, 30 second flutter kicks, 30 second toe touches, and we're going to try to do it for three rounds. For the sake of the video, we might just do one round, but we're going to show you how to do it so that you can eventually do three rounds on your own. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is the front plank. If you haven't done this before, that's okay. There are different ways you can do it. You can get down in a push-up position with your arms under your shoulders, like this, or you can get down on your elbows, like this. Now the idea with these is to not arch your back too much. You want to keep a flat back, so you got to engage your core. So if you look like this, always keeping flat, nice and flat. You don't want your butt up here or down here. You got to keep it straight in the line. All right, so for that one, we're going to do one minute to start. And if you can't do a minute, that's totally fine. If you want to start with 30 seconds, you can. If you want to start with 10 seconds, you can. Whatever you can do, just try to get moving a little bit, okay? Here we go. One, two, three. So you're just going to hold this position as long as you can. And if you have to go down, it's totally fine. By the way, we've got Mr. Alexander Ryan behind the camera today. Hey, how's it going, y'all? <laughs> and he's really happy he's not the one doing these, I think. Absolutely. <laughs> We're going to post these videos every week. Hopefully, we're going to do two of these per week. And if you have any ideas or certain parts of your body that you want to work on, and let me know in the comments or the questions so that we can try to figure out some exercises for us to do. We're about 20 seconds away from being done with this first one. And if you have any music that you have actually made, we'd be happy to play it in the background. Absolutely. Three, two, one, down. Okay. The next one is going to be 30 second plank push ups. Now, I'm going to turn around this way for this one so you can kind of see. Same position we were just in, similar actually. So we're gonna get back into on our elbows here, and we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. A plank push up is you start here, again, put your feet up, your flat back, and you're gonna go up on one, up on the other, and then back down. And then switch, other side, up one, back down. However, you wanna do it, just up and down, back and forth. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Starting now. You want to keep your hips as straight as possible if you can, so you're not wobbling too much either way. Up and down. This is good for your pectoral muscles and your abs. Ten seconds. Two, one. Time. Okay. All right. So for the next 
next one, we've got shoulder taps. These are one of my favorite, probably because they're not super hard, but you still feel like you're doing something. So, same type of thing, same position as the planks, but we're gonna be, instead of on our elbows, we're gonna be on our palms of our hands again. Same position as before, but this time, you're gonna stay right here and tap. One, two, three, four. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds again. All right, ready, go. Again, you wanna keep your abs tight, your back straight. You don't want your hips to go too out of alignment, so you're wiggling back and forth. You wanna keep them as solid as possible. We're about halfway done. start on the side that's harder than the easier side. So I'm going to start on my left. You got your elbow down like this, feet out to the side, and you're going to get your hips up off the ground. 30 seconds. Now if you need to go down after 10, that's fine. Go up again and just stay up until 30 if you can. Okay, ready? Go. Put your arm up and keep it here at your waist. Gonna hold this. You want to try to get your hips off the ground as much as possible. Halfway through. it easier as opposed to the other? I'm not sure. Probably whatever side is your dominant side. If you're right-handed, it's probably going to be easier. We got five seconds. Four, three, two, one, down. Okay, next one. Flutter kicks. All right, so these are probably more in line of what some people are used to with ab workout is a lot of kind of like sit up almost type of work. But these are something I actually did in my workout this morning um, that my trainer took us through. So you're going to kind of lean back, like lay up flat on your back, take your head up off the ground, get your feet up off the ground about six inches. Try to keep your lower back on the ground as much as possible. So bring your head up, helps with that, feet up off the ground. We're just gonna kick toes pointed for 30 seconds. Ready, go. Keep your toes pointed, your quads are flexed. You should be feeling a little bit your lower back, but if it hurts, then you can always stop. About halfway through. You need to put your arms behind you, you can, to your sides. Sometimes you wanna hold the mat, hold on to something, it makes it a little easier. Five seconds. Three, two, one, down. And the last one we have are toe touches. These are ones I used to do back in college when I played soccer. Those are pretty hard. Usually we would do about 100 of them, but today we're just gonna do it for 30 seconds again to go in line with the pattern we're doing. So on your back again, feet straight up in the air. Do this way. Feet up in the air. Try to get them as, as straight as possible. All we're doing is keeping our, our arms straight like this, shoulders down here, and up off the ground. Try to touch your toes. You might be able to, you might not. However far you can go is fine. 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Thank you. 
I'm gonna stop right there for right now, but ideally we'll do two or three rounds of this. Three rounds will give you 12 minutes of a workout, and that's really all you need, essentially, um, just to get moving, get off the couch again, and just keep your blood flowing. Um, and these will be really good for you. You can do as many as you want. You can change it up in terms of the order, in terms of how much time. If you want to do reps instead of time, that's totally fine too. Whatever works for you, like modify it to fit what is best for you and your fitness level. Um, again, we would love to hear more about what you guys want to work on so I can come up with more exercises for us. Um, and any questions that you have about different things you can do besides this, I'd love to hear them and answer them if I can. And uh, I guess that's all I have for today. Thank you very much, and we'll see you soon.